It was only Phantom Eye's second takeoff, but it performed it as though it had done it a hundred times before. After reaching its takeoff speed of nearly 60 knots, Phantom Eye lifted off from its ground cart and gracefully climbed to more than 8,000 feet to begin a 66-minute flight. Seeing that uh, bird lift off the cart like that was uh, a sight to see. Engineers and ground crew watched as Phantom Eye climbed to 5,000 feet and then as it banked and soared to its cruising altitude over Edwards Air Force Base. Five hands or two, can you give us a wind check? Powered by its two 150 horsepower liquid hydrogen engines, Phantom Eye's 150 foot wings glided the unmanned aircraft through California's high desert sky. Wind 350 at five. Phantoms are too showing up. That was uh, one of the most amazing things and a, a great feeling seeing uh, Phantom Eye return to flight. Phantom Eye's first flight was 28 minutes. It provided engineers with plenty of flight and performance information, but this longer flight allowed for all systems to be analyzed. His call signs, Scott, you'll be Phantom 2. Noel Sococcio is Phantom Eye's flight test conductor. We got a lot of good uh, high-speed taxi data, which we didn't have previously, above 40 knots, and uh, got some handling qualities um, information and definitely some good uh, landing data. The longer flight expanded the flight envelope, bringing Phantom Eye a step closer to meeting its intended mission of up to four days of endurance to provide customers persistent ISR. So I think it was really nice to see the flight the, the landing goes so well and then to have customers there congratulating us on that and showing so much interest in, uh, in what we're doing with this vehicle. Phantom Eye has been in the air for about an hour flying autonomously over Edwards Air Force Base. Engineers are in this ground control station monitoring Phantom Eye's every move and all eyes will be on Phantom Eye's landing because it'll be the first time new reinforced landing gear will be put to use. Phantom Eye will land, come to a stop, tilt to one side or the other and then rest on the wingtip. During Phantom Eye's first flight, the landing gear dug into the dirt on the lake bed and broke, but the second landing was picture perfect. Roll out. Touchdown. He's coming down. His engine's soft shut down. Nose wheel on the ground. Up next for Phantom Eye will be additional flights that take it higher and farther, eventually reaching altitudes of 65,000 feet and staying airborne longer than any other unmanned aircraft.